It's just one of those days. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yo, it is just one of those days. It's one of those days for me where I have to have wings. This is what it is. Chicken wings to me might be, I don't know, they're just something about, they're just like the best food on the planet to some degree. Like there's wings and there's, for me, like burgers, I would say, sandwiches. Like we all have preferential things, but wings in terms of the simplicity of what it is and that it's a, a repetitive item that you, you know what I mean? That you just consume. Wings to me are like some of the best. So I made some naked wings in a, sen in a sense. I fried up with literally just uh, cornstarch and then salt. That's all it is, that's all you gotta do. But I did make a sauce, cause y'all know I'm a saucy guy. I can't tilt it cause it's gonna, you know, drip everywhere. But we'll see that shortly. So in the sauce, honey, <laughs> butter, garlic, green onion, um, lemon, cornstarch slurry to make it uh, like this. So it has consistency, so it coats. Essentially it's garpar, like lemon garpar. It's Parmesan cheese as well. Um, essentially it's all that uh, in, 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 in a different kind of format. So we'll just get into it. Okay, so cornstarch wings. Almost like a chicken nugget, in a sense. Like it has that really light, crispy exterior. You come in like this. All right. Look at that. Look at how it grabs. It grabs at that cornstarch. Oh, my word. Mm. Come on. That is too much. That's way too much. Look at this. I made everything fall. <laughs> That's not good. But for real, when something is legitimately too good, you go. How's that possible? And then you realize <laughs> because of technique and understanding. It all comes down to. How do you make anything good? Understand how, understand the processes that makes it good. And in this case, simplicity is actually key.
corn storage <laughs> corn starch oil hot oil at 350 325 330 whatever you want to do and then like the six ingredients in the sauce find yourself an amazing place Now that being said, with the idea of simplicity <laughs> relative to complexity, does that ever bring you to a place of like, I've been having this thought of like experience and the fact that we have our own individual limited experiences and there is an expert expiration date on that experience. Does it ever kind of bother you that <laughs> you can experientially, like visually see that in life there's like a mass amount of experience To achieve and partake in and then you have the uh, almost painful awakening of the idea that like due to the nature of life and then also like money and circumstance money being the fuel that you'll never actually be able to have all these experiences <laughs> that feel like uh, attractive to you that you want to have and weirdly enough you feel like you're supposed to have if you work hard enough and get wealth and get lucky enough to get wealthy enough To afford even some of these experiences <laughs> even then in the in that like you're still gonna be like well my bucket list like my checklist still has these other, these wild things on them. And I almost say things like this because my friend sent me this young guy, 20 something, dropping in on the craziest mountain skiing.
And I was like, that's wild, first off. And imagine being the guy. Who's doing that and how like intense that would feel. And then you go to yourself, you think like, well, even though I would want to experience that, I was never actually physically capable of even, I wasn't um, genetically gifted even that opportunity relative to my inability and who I am as like a non, you know, I'm not coordinated. I'm not good at sports. I can't hurl my body off 80 foot cliffs. <clears throat> but you observe it and go, that would be awesome for me. At least for me. Because I'm into that extreme, like, uh, type of thing. Like, I would love, like, me having raced dirt bikes and jumped dirt bikes, and I've always been drawn to things like that. So, like, I, I would love to learn how to, like, professionally skydive or, you know, jump off stuff because... In a cyclical, robotic, and seemingly mundane world that we live in, for the most part. <laughs> Those, uh... risky uh you know the the temptress of fate of uh to basically defy death via you know planning how to make it so you can basically defy death with using tools and instruments to <laughs> allow you to have like this courageous moment that to me is almost like a, it's like this amazing freedom and that's why I, I'd be into it. Because it's literally like staring in the face of death. Using your intelligence relative to tools and things to ensure a 95% safety rate for you to defy the ultimate um, consequence being death and <laughs> exist in an unnatural state. Like birds are supposed to fly, humans aren't. We're clearly land animals, creatures beings or whatever you want to call it. But when your intelligence allows you to construct a system that allows you to almost become a bat or a a bird or whatever for 15 seconds that's got to feel pretty badass.
and that's why. I'm into that stuff. Thrill seeking to, to some degree. Certainly dangerous, but that's the risk you take in life. Don't they say the greater the risk, the greater the reward? I feel like that may be true. That being said, I I, I don't know if I clarified earlier, but to my to my biggest question was recently I've been thinking of like, isn't it crazy that you can't experience everything? That you're actually limited by a multitude of things. First being your physiology. And I would say second being finances. Thirdly, you have to go to the spiritual, you have to go to the ethereal, you have to go to, well, mind. Like, what is your mind going to allow you to do or not? So it's a multi-factor, and it gets deeper than that. But you ever just sit and think, like, oh, like, I'm not going to get to do all of it. That interests me. And the reason it interests me interests me because I want to see perspective from experience. I want to know other people's purview. Because the only purview that I know is mine. But it would be nice to understand other people's and have that collective 360 top down, left, right, east, west, north, south perspective. Of existence. Of experience. That's actually bothered me for a long time. Because I just know that like. Because of my individuated circumstantial situation. I'm never going to get to know. The whole. And I want to know the whole. <laughs> Oddly enough. That being said. In my <laughs> individuated experience. I know that this sauce is amazing. These wings are amazing. And uh, it is what it is until it isn't. And in, just in that being said, <laughs> eat good, live well. Crumbly fingers, greasy. Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.